What's it like to go to the largest eclipse gathering in Oregon? Well, it starts with a 20-mile traffic jam. If you're lucky, about eight hours later, you arrive at an entrance gate. All right, how many of us? Two, three? <laughs> After that, you're directed into another line. And finally, here it is, you're home for the next week. If this is your idea of a dirt-encrusted nightmare, well, to others, it's a fantastical playground. The Oregon Eclipse Festival is an international gathering of artists, collaborators, and community members who've come together to witness the headliner, which is a full solar eclipse. In August 2017, that rare astronomical event swept across the state of Oregon transforming Craig Woodward's 55,000-acre ranch near Prineville into a temporary community of 30,000 artists, performers, and Eclipse devotees. We have people who have come to create big art installations and workshops. It's days and days of programming from people all over the world who've brought their really special gifts here. The people are amazing, the art is incredible. The floaties, the little flotillas of people. I think it's really welcoming. Um, people are giving hugs and saying hello. And you know, when you go to a music concert like in Portland, you know, you're not really gonna get that experience. And the scale of this place is overwhelming to me. Every turn is a magical, beautiful spot. Uh, just so many discoveries and so much inspiration in all the art. And the people are so beautiful and open and friendly and, and yeah, free to express themselves. You guys are phenomenal out there. For me, when I think about festival culture and what makes it unique is it offers this opportunity for people to find and to create their deepest, truest expression. In this kind of environment, people are feel more comfortable and more supported to be able to bring out what's within that they've kept hidden, that they can't express in their normal job or their normal life, and it's accepted. That acceptance opens the door to a wide range of creative expression, from the earthy to the urban. Soul Trigger, it's a group of dancers. We live in Portland. So I'm thinking like right over here, guys. Soul Trigger is a moment in time um, when the mind is unleashed, the body unchained, and the soul freed. All right, let's do this. This dance has been inspired by so many other people and so many other heritages and cultures and hardships and oppressions and we try to represent and pave our own way in their stead. It's more than just a movement. This is an extension of our lives. And we found each other through this dance. The reality of it is, it was born in the street in a moment. You know what I mean? Because this dance is freestyle. Plain and simple, it's freestyle. In the moment, we're battling, and who knows what's happening in that moment. And what might happen in the next moment? Keep going, keep going, keep going. And in the next. Catherine! Nice. Being able to adapt and move and use different styles at your disposal allows you to speak differently and thusly be in the moment, be in that place in time. Beautiful. You touch people, and in return they come and they're like, I heard you. And so we take this and we use this as a tool to grow and evolve and to bring people together, you know? It's through this. It's through this interaction and this community. Like, this is the point. Yeah. This is the yeah. point. We're here, you know? We're here. <laughs> 
You guys rock. Right if you're looking for a quieter experience, just make your way across the cultural bridge and consider it all from a completely different perspective. The original First Nations people that used to roam these lands was the Wasco and the Paiute tribes. During the festival, this ancient land is home to indigenous people from across North and South America. From New Zealand and Australia, from Asia, the Pacific Islands, and many other places. Our focus of One Nation Earth Camp was to bring all First Nations together to collaborate with one another, to network with one another. And this is a, a time for all First Nations to really be the advocates of environmental justice. If you take care of yourself, then you will be ready to take care of the Mother Earth. It was really important to us for tribes and indigenous culture to bring forward the programming that they thought was relevant. We have something to teach. We have something to give back to the community. A lot of people come join us and really absorb what the elders have to teach. And also, we love the people that come join us in prayer. As daylight fades, there's a spontaneous evening ritual to celebrate it. After dark, the festival transforms. You just never know what you're going to find around the next corner. You might find yourself plucking a laser harp or wading into a kaleidoscope. There are seven stages hosting dozens of dance parties and a variety of acts from all over the world that light up the desert sky for miles around. Even with all this talent, Oregon is well represented with local favorites like the March 4th Marching Band and Solo Box. These illuminated flames come courtesy of Portland artist Jean Margaret. This sandwalker is the work of Eugene's Lost Nomads of Volcania. There's also an interesting little saloon known as the Roadkill. Ladies and gentlemen, we invite you to experience immersive theatrical environments, the likes of which you've never seen at a festival. Inside, you will be slapped. You will be given a shot of whiskey. It's the work of two Southern Oregon artists, Tom Seppi and Tucker Teutsch III. It's part vaudeville and part Westworld. We're out of talent in Medford. My partner Tom Seppi does all the robotics, and I do all the uh, kind of storyline, performance, actor, built environment stuff. I built four robots for this installation. Uh, we have a, a bar sweep we call Arlo, and he cruises around and sweeps the road and entices people into the space. The main one is eight pneumatically operated legs that kick to music. And sometimes require a bit of troubleshooting. It doesn't always go according to plan, but these guys are seasoned pros. In 2010, 2011, I founded uh, the PDX Bridge Festival, which is sort of a celebration of um, 100 years of the Hawthorne Bridge. And uh, I was the project director on the Temple at Burning Man in 2008. I've been doing festivals for about 14 years now professionally. Anyone who's under age should cover their eyes, okay? It's really exciting to be a part of. I mean, on top of the fact that we have this massive cosmic event that's going to occur in a few days where the moon's going to completely block out the sun, which I've never seen before. I'm really excited to see that. When eclipse morning arrives, it brings with it calm winds and sunny skies. It's pretty remarkable that this is happening here in our backyard. 
you don't get this type of opportunity maybe just once in a lifetime. Crossing the bridge today in here was like walking in a pilgrimage to this holy event. I think the eclipse itself sort of brings out a bit of the primal in all of us. Who will bring the sun back is a question that's probably been at the base of a lot of religion and a lot of mystic practices. The Aztec dancers are sending a prayer through their dance. They believe that there's something special going on within the universe as well. So they're able to celebrate at the same time. These moments, you know, eclipse, sunrise, watching the birds fly, like these moments are what makes us rich in spirit and give our lives much more meaning. It's nice to be around a bunch of people who want to celebrate Earth, who want to celebrate the universe and want to celebrate with each other and feel love. And I just feel really energized and inspired. Thank you for being very happy, so happy I came. Yeah. You know, connectivity in the modern world is kind of hard to find, and authenticity is even harder to find, and you get a little bit of both when you come to a festival like this. It's really important for each and every one of us to connect with one another because we are all one nation, we are all one people.